So hello there, my name's Dane Lemaitre, welcome to the video. Um, and this is my bargain buy that I got recently, I say recently, I got it this year, um, but it was five months ago. I got it back in March, my dad actually bought it for me, and it costs £5, yes, that's £5. Uh, which might find a bit hard to believe. Uh, my dad got this for me, he got this from the Air Ambulance Charity Shop, which is in Wellingborough, where I live. Um, so it all went to a good cause anyway, um, you know, and I, obviously I know people that work there. But I know the air ambulance put the money to good use. Um, but anyway, all that aside, I'm really happy with this. Um, so I'll take the lid off. So anyway, now I've taken the lid off. Um, you can see inside. So as you can see, it comes with six wagons and a class 37 diesel. Um, also comes with a power clip, which is obviously used for the power and a signal as well. Uh, also in the box, I found these uh, four long bits of track. Um, now, if you look on the side of the box, um, there's a shape and overall pattern. It tells you what's included. Um, so this didn't actually, the track long track didn't actually come with it. However, the owner that was obviously getting rid of it must have just put it in there and maybe didn't even realise. I'm not too sure. Um, as you can see, there isn't actually a space inside this box for the long bits of track. So, and obviously, from what it says on the side, it didn't come with it. Um, and I really like these wagons. Um, I think my two favourite ones would have to be the Arnold Sand ones, because it says uh, Leighton Buzzard on the side. And Leighton Buzzard uh, is not too far away drive from me. Um, they've also got the narrow gauge railway at Leighton Buzzard, however, it's currently closed. Um, and I also really like the Shell one. Um, I really like fuel tankers, or just tankers in general. Um, so I also like this uh, United Dairies one that comes with it. Now, the United Dairies one does have um, a broken ladder, um, however, um, you could argue and say that that's realistic because um, obviously I've watched documentaries on TV um, about during like the war and things like that and how stuff was looked after and I've seen a few of these tankers on preserved railways uh, a bit broken so you could say it looks realistic and again £5 for all this um, is quite a bargain really because if you um, look on eBay um, sets like this um, sell for a lot lot more um, you know they're quite expensive and um, even if the train didn't work you know the fact that I've got all these wagons that are fit in, because I say, apart from the United Dairy one, all the others are in really good condition, all the buffers there, there's no parts missing. You know, it's a real bargain, I think. Um, and the Class 37 diesel, it's funny, I've actually got two of these now. Uh, this particular one, with the number on the side, 37071. Um, the reason I've got two is because um, someone else I knew was getting rid of a load of model railway stuff. Um, and again, I got that for a bargain price, and some stuff I've had given to me. Um, and in fact, the last this other class first seven one that I've got um, was given to me because so someone was getting rid of a load of stuff and they let me have it as sort of a present sort of thing, which was nice. Um, you know, and I mean, I go to a lot of model railway shows and things like that, so I do get a lot of good bargains, and I do get people to say to me that I have a lot of stuff. I must have spent a lot. Um, so yes, I probably have, but then I'll say I've also um, managed to get stuff for good prices and had stuff as presents as well. So again, when you take all that into consideration, I've not spent a huge, huge amount really. Um, I've been quite fortunate really and had stuff passed down through the family and that as well um, like I said um, yeah so £5 pounds, I'm really pleased with this the class 37 diesel here I uh, had a few problems with it I didn't even record it because uh, I didn't want to burst your eardrums um, it was really really squeaky um, however my dad helped me give it a good oiling uh, and inside the class 37's um, some lead as well to help weigh it down um, and a tip I've been given from other model railway enthusiasts is if you put lead inside um, it helps weigh um, stuff down, like uh, wagons and that, to so make them not so bouncy, so they don't bounce off the track. Um, so I had a run of this, and it runs really, really nicely indeed, as you can see here. And uh, another thing I really like about this is um, all these wagons, if you look underneath them, it says made in Great Britain and uh, I've got another old wagon here, a McVitie's one, I really like the McVitie's ones and again underneath it says made in England uh, unfortunately a lot of um, engineering work doesn't happen in England nowadays which I think is a real shame um, and I was watching the documentary that James May did um, at the end of last year and uh, again I think it's a real shame that um, you say a lot of stuff is now made in China and not made in England so that's what I like about these old wagons. And again, when I go to model railway shows, it's nice to see um, different gauges and trains from uh, other areas. And I've done a bit of research about this one. I wondered if it's a Hornby Triangle one. However, it doesn't say Triangle on the box. 
So, um, I'm, so I've come, and obviously from what I've seen, I've come to the conclusion that it isn't a Hornby Triangle one. Um, you know, it is what it says on the box. Um, so yeah, I thought that this was a great value product. I say it all works now, uh, thanks to helping my dad. Uh, one thing that is also missing from this is it says that it came with a controller. There is no controller, as you can see. Um, but I do have a controller from my other pack. So um, yeah. Um, so like I said, even for that, say for the price I paid, I can't really grumble at all. Uh, really happy with this. Um, I just thought I'd like to show you this, as it is something a bit different in my collection. Uh, really happy with it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.